what's up guys so i've been saying that i wanted to do my wall for a long time now and i've been stalling it because i was planning to do um like two minecraft paintings um before i put anything up so that i could get the framing right and i just never did it because painting i don't know it's painting takes a long time and i didn't oh. so today we are painting our two minecraft paintings i i opened this on camera but then i realized that my camera was not recording so, we'll just do that now then. I got these two at Michael's for like $12, I think. Um, it was a bit, but I couldn't find the rectangular can- and I couldn't find square canvases because they're all rectangular. And so it took a while to search for them. Um, so the two Minecraft paintings I'm doing is a 16 by 16 called Paradistrad, I think. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And then the 32 by 32 Moonlight Installation. Uh, this one is a bit nuanced in its colors, so it might be a little hard, especially since I only have, like, small paint, uh, acrylic paint bottles. But they're all new, I think, so I hope I'll have enough to fill the canvases. Anyway, um, I don't know what else to say, so let's just get started. This is painting Minecraft paintings in real life. Okay, here we go, there's nothing. Here goes, oh fuck, okay, we have to get the right. Alright, so I have my T-square. I had to buy this for, um, design and drafting for productions in freshman year. But we never used it, so I guess I'll be able to put it to good use today. This painting is titled Plant in the Game Files, and it's based off of this painting of the Swedish plant Paradistrad. Anyway, I started by drawing the 16 by 16 grid, because this is a 1 by 1 painting, and each block in Minecraft is 16 pixels. I used my T-square to align it perfectly and make sure it's parallel to the corners of the painting. And then I rotated it and did the other side. Does this even paint? Dude, it's just oil. Okay, so we're not using the those acrylic paints, the dry ones. Which means we lose out on orange. It is on a yellow, which is really devastating. And yellow is one of the primary colors. Wait, shit, this one's not open. Okay, this is okay though, we have yellow. So we'll just have to make red, no, we don't, we'll just have to make orange another way. So I started by color mixing the darkest green and then started painting it in. Uh, there are only about like eight pixels of this color. But then I accidentally dropped my brush and got red paint all over it, so I had to correct that. Problem. No! 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 Okay, I just painted my wall. Whatever. What the fuck? It's going awesome, actually. Let's just check to see we're still recording. Anyway, after that, I started to work on the frame of the painting, which is like a woody brown. Now, I accidentally used the reddish color used for the flower pot, so I had to go over it with a darker brown and kind of blend the texture so it has that stripey wood. Um, after that, I started to do the brown flower pot, which was the reddish brown color, like brick or clay. Now, it's kind of weird how the pixels translate over to the real painting, because if you look at the real painting, the brown flower pot is normal, like it's symmetrical. But in the pixels, you can see that the ridge, like the frame around it, is kind of tilted to the right. Um, and that's because, obviously, pixels get rid of the details. But if you stand far back enough, it'll look close enough to the real painting. Anyway, after that, I'm going in with the table, which is this light-ish brown color. It could also possibly be wood, but um, most of it is the same color, and I kind of just mixed uh, pink or orange and white. 
Okay. Um, we are, what, an hour and a half in and we are done with the warm colors. Now we move on to the greens. All right, green time. So there are about like four distinct shades of green in this painting. Um, and in the original painting, you have the flower pot very similar in color to the plant. And so when you actually look at the painting, it's kind of weird because you don't really see the flower pot. It's kind of just like this mesh of green stuff. Also, another thing that the pixels do is they kind of like erase the plant in the brown flower pot. But I don't know. It's about abstraction. So I am not trying to make it as accurate to the original painting. I'm trying to make it as accurate to the Minecraft painting. So we're finishing up here and last thing that's left is gray. Okay. Um Fantastic. So now we start on the gray, and this is just for the background, which is a grayish wall. Now this was very similar to white, so when I was mixing the colors, I kind of got it too dark, uh, but I just went with it, um, and it did end up looking pretty well. So you can see that the gray is actually a lot darker than it should be in the reference drawing. Yes! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. This is the final painting. Damn! Whoa. Okay. Um, and then you have to sign this, right? Is that how... How the... How the, how the cool kids do it? I shouldn't have signed it here. I should have signed it on the wood. So this is the final product. You have your wooden frame. My initials. Uh, you have your flower pot, I think, and then your green thing, and you have your, um, your table, and then your background. And this is, this is it. I hope you can see the mess behind me. Uh, it was a lot. This took me two hours for the first painting. But after two hours, this is the Paradis Trod. So I think I might start the second painting today if I'm feeling like it. Um, whatever happens, I will cut to that right now. The Moonlight Installation, I think. I think that's what it was called. Uh, so first let's divide this into 32 by 32. Now these canvases that I got from Michaels were 20 inches by 20 inches. So for the 16 by 16 uh, Parada Strad, it would be 1.25 inches per pixel. But because we're doing 32 by 32, they're now 0.625 inches. So you can see me doing the exact same process, except that there are now like four times more pixels. There are t twice as many lines here and four times as many boxes. So we're gonna be here for a while, possibly longer than two hours this time. I hope not because I have experience with mixing the paints now, which I didn't have for the first time I did it. Okay, so anyway, you can see me here finishing up the grid. And this took actually a lot longer than I thought it would. This took about like 15 minutes. So the canvas prep grid is done. Uh-oh. We've got blues, we've got light blues, we've got teals, uh, and then we've got magentas and grays, and greens. So, yeah, we're, we're good. Okay, so there are four shades of teal. I think I'm gonna start with that first because that's also the color of the border. Okay, so I was actually super stoked to see how the skull would form as we add in each different color because the skull goes through lots of shades of blue. Um, anyway, you can see that I'm just making squiggles. Um, there's a lot of variation in color compared to the previous one as well. Shit. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. This is 256, right? 256 pixel, pixel, pixel. No, this is 1080, I think. It's a lot of pixels. The fuck? Okay. 
Yes, you see that? That's teal. Okay, so now we're going in with the teal colors. And all this blue and aqua and coral and magenta is making me feel like this is an ocean painting. But in actuality, it's not. If you look at the reference painting, this is what it looks like. Very strange indeed. As we added more teal to the skull, you can see the formation of the eye sockets and the jawbone forming. Time for more green. Okay, so after some more color mixing, we go in with an even turquoise or turquoise. We added more green. So, oh fuck, what happened there? Well, I don't know. Um, so this is mainly in the background. Not much of this turquoise is used at the front of the skull, but more of the back of the head. Whoa, 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 as you could see there, it's kind of hard to keep track of all these pixels and their location, so I ended up making some of them the wrong color a lot of times during this painting. But that's okay, because nobody else will notice except me. Yeah? That was my sister barging in on me recording. Don't worry, that's not the last time this happens during my painting session. Yeah? Why did I forget how to do this topic? What did I say? Not even 10 minutes apart. Anyway, what I love about the Moonlight installation is how the border blends into the painting. So you can see a lot of the similar colors I'm using in the painting are actually the same color as the border. So I'm going to be painting the border as I go along. So I had to paint each side um, and wait for it to dry before I painted another. That may not be exactly right, but I don't do politeness. And you want to talk about misogyny? Your bill's worse than Cosby. He left the mess of that dress like you left in Benghazi. This is about an hour and a half in, and you can see my insanity start to kick in as I just sing random songs. This one's from that one epic rap battle between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Y'all remember that? Anyway, I'm going with a darker blue now. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. And there you have the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme song. These colors on the border remind me a lot of the prismarine blocks in Minecraft. I just thought that was interesting. The whole universe was in a hot, dense state from 14 billion years ago. Oh my god, there it is, the third time she barged in. Anyway, I'm going in with the bright blue for the background now. Okay, I'm going to add some black in here. I painted a good section of this before realizing that it was too bright, and so I added black and repainted all of it. My loving you is a You can really see I'm going insane when I start singing everything at the end of time. And now we're gonna do the last shade of blue, I think. So now we're two and a half hours into the painting, and you'll never believe what happens. My camera dies ten minutes before I finish the painting. So I only have the colorful bits left, so I'll just show you the result of the painting. After three more hours. This video took a long time, it was about six hours of footage edited down, so please, please, please share this, like it, subscribe, turn on notifications, uh, comment, um, and hopefully, maybe I'll do more of these, I actually, I do a series, I do all the Minecraft paintings. Anyway, have a nice day, or evening, and I love you guys, Mwah.